Hi, Ollie. Uh, hope you're all right. Um, obviously, there's a lot being written and said about you over the last fortnight. Have you spoken to Ed or anyone at the club, or you just get on with your job, basically? Yeah, yeah of course, course I've. So. I've been uh, in contact and communicated with the club as we normally do uh, all the time anyway and uh, it's been a uh, been a long international break but it's one that we've utilized and used to the to our benefit we feel uh, it's been a good response from the players when they come in and we're ready for the Watford game do you feel as though you going back to Norway helped you clear your mind a little bit because it was fairly intense what you were the position you were in after the City game? You know, we uh, international breaks uh, are always periods to refresh and to keep working on, on different things. And we this, this time around, we had a few players having to pull out of uh, the internationals. So quite a few of them have been here doing individual sessions, recovery sessions, rehab sessions. Some players were allowed to, to go abroad uh, to visit their families and it's it's the same case all the time when we come in uh, on in the the week before we start uh, the game again everyone's bright and ready and I've got to say this week has been uh, a good week we've had uh, a chance to work with more or less everyone uh, on on quite a quite a few things hi Oli um, hi, can I ask you please about um, Jesse Lingard? Um, there was a report this morning that talks over a, a new deal for Jesse had, had stalled and that he was looking to p perhaps move elsewhere in, in January on loan. Are, are you able to clear that up for us at all? Uh, Jesse is training really hard, really well, um, and he's ready and available for me, uh, definitely. Uh, he's disappointed he's not played more, of course. Uh, regards to con contract situations and the talks, I, I've not been uh, in them very, very, uh, very closely. So for me, uh, Jesse is still a, a big part of this squad, important part, and he uh, he gives energy and quality to the group every day. Lack of minutes this season, Oli. Can you understand why he may be frustrated? Uh, every player wants to play as much as possible. Uh, the thing with Jesse and and all my players. You know, they are working really hard, can't fault their attitude and they're ready when they're, they're called upon and when they're, uh, when they're playing. And Jesse has done well when he's played for us and he, he knows that with all the games that are coming up, he's, uh, he's going to play a part. Hi, Oli. Uh, you were Hi. saying there about how tough the last fortnight or so has been during this international break. With that in mind, how important is this game against Watford to set the right tone now moving forward? Of course, we we know that uh, with a with a poor run of form, uh, we put ourselves under pressure, and but that pressure should be um, a joy. It should be uh, uh, something that makes us a better team, makes every player perform uh, at at the best level, and a game that we should go into and enjoy, enjoy. You know, we've had. I don't know how many games uh, away from home. Uh, of course, we lost against Leicester away from home, but the, the unbeaten away record that we've accumulated before that is something that we need to draw some confidence from. And we've got three away games now with Watford, the first one, and that's the that's the one we've been focusing on and preparing for. And it's it's a very big game, of course, as every game in the Premier League is. Yeah, good. Uh, I've got to say, this week has been been really, really positive. Of course, there's a there's a couple of doubts uh, with illnesses and small uh, small niggles. Paul is out uh, still uh, for a while. Rafa is out for a while still. But apart from that, uh, players will be coming back in call it uh, in the near near future. Uh, some this weekend and some during the week. Uh, but that's that's the same for every every team that they, they miss players. Ian Parker. Uh, hi Ali. Just wanted to hi. ask. Um, obviously you've been away yourself, but you've had players go away on international duty and, and some have done very well. Do you feel like they've had a change of mentality and come back refreshed? I can't say they've had a change of mentality. That I, I, I think that's um uh, that's the wrong way of saying it. I think they've they 
love playing football. They enjoy playing football. They love, of course, winning. So, of course, when we left each other uh, 12, 13 days ago, not anyone, uh, no one was uh, happy when they left Old Trafford. Uh, but then there's another game and there's another game and there's another game. They've enjoyed the competition in, uh, for, the, for the countries and now they're ready. And I've got to say this week has been a, a very determined and focused group. Uh, and we've worked on a few things that we, we feel uh, we need or that we know that we need to improve on. And hopefully we can see that against Watford. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Michael. Uh, hi, come here. Well, Ollie, how difficult is it after a, after a defeat when your players are going away on international duty? Because I'm sure you want to try and get them all together to work on, obviously, this big week coming up that you've got. Yeah, you're right. You know, sometimes you the first thing you want to do after a defeat is to get back on the training ground and work on things. To be honest, I... I, as I said, uh, when we left uh, for this international break, I think it was a good time for us to to refresh our minds. And some players, have, as I said, have stayed here working on their uh, individual recovery, uh, fitness. Some have been allowed to go home to the countries to freshen up their minds. And uh, But everyone's kept in touch with the staff. And that's one of the the things that we've learned through the last couple of years to um, with the uh, technology and the pandemic with the Zooms or Teams. And my staff has been working really hard to get everyone ready. And from Monday onwards, we've worked really hard and we've corrected a few things. We've uh, uh, set, put a few things uh, right. We've, uh, we've of course, uh, made sure that we, uh, we've What's the word? We've uh, prioritised a couple of couple of things that needed to uh, improve the most, and I'm sure we'll see a reaction and a good team on good team bef performance on um, uh, tomorrow. Uh, Carlson, hola, hola. Hey. Uh, I, I just wanted to, to follow up a bit on that, on that from Simon because there have been so many rumours around your future uh, the, the latest weeks, and, and certain people are are claiming your time in, in charge is coming towards an end and that, that you are at Old Trafford on, on borrowed time. Uh, how, how do you feel? Do, do you feel safe in, in this situation? And do you feel that the, the staff, the players and the board, everyone is pulling in the same direction? Yeah, you know, the, the players, uh, the staff, myself, the club, we are working towards one goal and that's this uh, team to improve and that's uh, to get better results. Uh, fans are still supporting the the team and the club, they've been through this period and they've backed the team through the, through the rebuild, of course. And uh, the last, you know, when you lose a game, you're always um, disappointed and under pressure. And um, we've been communicating uh, well, openly and honestly, as we always do. And we're, um, th there's one, one game now that matters, but it's also uh, what, what goes on after that. And, uh, uh, we're all refreshed. Uh, this week has been really good in training and we're ready for tomorrow. Hi, Ollie. Hi, Andy. I'd assume you've had time to reflect after some of them dreadful results. What do you think has gone wrong? What, what's going to change in this next block of games? And what gives you the confidence that you can get it back? Yeah, we, we've been through periods like this before and... Uh, our away form should give us uh, confidence. What we've done, you know, we've just gone 30 odd games and lost one uh, or whatever we, we have. Uh, last season, we turned it round as well and went on a run with 20, 12 games and one defeat. That's a kind of run that we have to have to get back. And as I said, this week, we've worked on a few things. We pr prioritised a few things uh, that we have to improve on. And that's... It's, we know that the run of form hasn't been good and performances ha haven't been good enough, but we, we know we can do better. We know we should do better. We think we will do better. Um, and it's, it's down to um, performances on the day. Uh, human beings, sometimes you, you hit the post and goes out, sometimes it, it, it goes in uh, and that can change your mood, your at uh, the atmosphere. We've just got to focus on getting the start right tomorrow and build on a good start.